Our next speaker is uh, Dr. Mohanad Al Ansari. Uh, welcome, Dr. Mohanad. Thank you so much for uh, making time uh, to be a part of the Global Virtual Healthcare Summit 2022. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Uh, before uh, we begin uh, your session, I'd like to give a little introduction about Dr. Ansari. So uh, Dr. Uh, Mohanad Al Ansari is a board certified surgeon and founder of Metaverse Hospitals. Dr. Mohanad Al Ansari is a consultant surgeon and specialized in minimal invasive GI surgery, uh, robotic surgery, working as a dean of the Robotic Surgery Academy at Dubai UAE. He is a visitor surgeon at Astor Hospitals Dubai. He is a founder and chief surgeon at Metaverse Hospitals UAE USA. Uh, Dr. Mohanad Al Ansari is a founder and director of Robotic Surgery Center, Baghdad, Iraq. Uh, so uh, I think I am personally very, very excited uh, to hear uh, your thoughts, uh, Dr. Ansari. Uh, we are now currently in the phase of virtual reality and metaverse and very, very exciting area. Uh, I will now uh, give you the access to share the screen, sir. Uh, you can please uh, share the screen now. Yes, uh, it's my pleasure to be uh, with the uh, Global Health Summit 2022. And today we will give uh, our experience uh, and uh, uh, about our work in the virtual reality and the space uh, telesurgery uh, and the uh, virtual reality uh, telesurgery uh, across. Uh, so I will uh, uh, start to share my screen uh, and uh, I hope you can uh, see the screen. So can you see my screen now? Yes. Uh, so today we are speaking uh, and our lecture is about the advantages of the virtual reality surgery. We will give some terminologies and also we will go for some videos and our real work in this field and how we are monitoring surgeries around the globe and the earth and our life and our uh, technology that we founded, which is the space telemedicine and telesurgery to the space exploration missions and uh, in the uh, using of virtual reality and robots. So we'll go. Yeah. We'll come by this one by one. Yeah. So virtual reality surgery definition. Uh, it is a virtual surgical planning by providing both the surgeons and the patients with the wealth and benefits and the virtuality and essential tools in the pre-surgical planning, providing the assurance in surgery and seeing a 3D patient's anatomy to develop surgical plan prior to uh, the surgery and prior to oper entering the operative room. Also, we have something called the augmented reality assisted surgery. Uh, the augmented reality assisted surgery is a surgical tool utilizing technologies that superimpose computer generated image on a surgeon view that operate the field and providing a composite view of the surgeon and patients with a computer generated overlay, enhancing the operative experience. We are using something also called the surgical navigation, which is a method to guide the surgery using medical imaging and guidance map. And believe me, as a surgeon for more than 22 years and working on surgical oncology, applying these advanced technologies, and uh, I worked on the even old methods uh, in, in which we're, that we were cutting only and having our scissors and knives. So now we can guide ourselves to see the anterior and posterior and inferior of the tumor, and we can 
take an assurance level uh, and sometimes the surgeon feel that he is lost in the operative field so applying these technologies is important in increasing the accuracy of the surgery and the success rate of the surgery and less complication uh, we are using something also called the virtual surgery intelligence and the artificial intelligence uh, which is a theory of development of computer system which is able to perform tasks normally requiring a human intelligence and in such we can see that we are doing these in order also to assure the surgery and using these tools so uh, what are the advantages of robotic surgery we will come to them which is one gathering several experts in one place to superimpose the surgery number two surgical training for the residents number three seeing the anatomical field of surgery using virtual reality to increase the accuracy of the surgery and success rate and the final process in the telesurgery and tele mentor and as you can see that applying the virtual reality surgery in the surgical practice can gi give us a lot of information and a lot of tasks that cannot be performed and this is why a lot of complex surgery now is more uh, accuracy done uh, with more precision uh, by applying these technologies so what we did after uh, we, we worked on a lot of practice we started to put uh, and after our experience in robotic surgery we introduced robotic surgery to ae in 2010 to Iraq in 2020, we introduced virtual reality surgery uh, to UAE, Dubai in uh, 2018, and uh, to Iraq in uh, 2020. So after that, what we did, we started to collect our experience, uh, and after the surgery that, that we have done between Dubai and Tokyo, after we worked with the uh, uh, Tokyo University, uh, so we started to uh, implement our structure, unique structure, the Metaverse Hospital, that we put all these structures uh, together. So uh, the Metaverse Hospital, we will speak about it later on. So now what we will see, we will see about a practical work about our work uh, in the first guided virtual reality surgery, which was done between Dubai and Tokyo. So uh, this is the, the structure. You can see me uh, on my right side that this is Dr. Mohanad on in Dubai. Uh, on the left side and on right side, this is my virtual reality hologram passion in uh, Tokyo. And here is the other team, Professor Maki Sogomoto. And on the other side also, the, the, the operation was a minimal invasive gastric sleep surgery. And believe me, they saw me like a genie in, in front of them uh, by holoportation. And they were very happy and I was able to perform and to give a direct instruction of the surgery. And now we will go and see one video together in order to uh, uh, speak about the technology. Because you have some, uh, some videos that we want to explain together. Yes. So this is uh, the video you can see that this is the uh, uh, operative theater room in Japan, in Tokyo, Japan. And you can see that this is a live screen uh, transferring the, the, the field uh, of surgery, which was the minimal invasive surgery, uh, cutting the stomach uh, by uh, the laparoscope. And here you can see Dr. Mohanad in the hologram fashion. And this was the, the first ever holoportation controlling surgery between uh, countries, uh, between uh, Dubai and Tokyo. This was published in many journals and even in the uh, Japanese journals of surgery. And the accuracy and the success rate of the surgery was amazing. And this is the robotic system, but we, we didn't use the robot, we used the laparoscope. So uh, the nice thing that even the hospitals that do not have the Da Vinci robot or the robotic surgical system, we can give them our experience in this. So uh, we, uh, the surgery control, seeing how much blood lost and also giving the details of how much to cut and the diameter of cutting and the process of surgery. So it was a tele-mentoring control. 
So after that, we succeeded in two things. One, in holoportation, and number thing, in the tele-mentoring supervision. So after that, when I started to give some conferences, they told me, Dr. Mohamed, okay, so you started to control surgery by supervision. Uh, so can you do more? So I started to think more. And this is the matter of science, how the human beings think in order to accommodate life. So what we did after that, we started to work with a robotic a company called Extend Robotics from UK. This company has the ability to control the robotic arm by the virtual reality headsets arm controllers that we'll see together. So what we did, we made one another experience to control the robot between Dubai and London, and we'll go together to see in order to go for further work and how we implemented our technology to the space. So now uh, we are going to see the uh, other video that I told you about. Yes. So now what you are seeing is the uh, so I hope cooperation you between Accent Robotics about and the Robotic Surgery Academy. Dr. Mohamed Ansari, so what you are doing, we are developing and manufacturing the Galaxy Robotic Arm. The use of this arm will be in minimal invasive surgery, the Galaxy Robotic Surgical yes. System, and also yes. the uh, Robotic Satellite Arm, in which that it is has a space exploration mission and also in space still surgery. What you will soon uh, what you will see now is a direct control of this robotic arm between Dubai and London, in a hundred percent control by virtual reality arm controllers. What I will do now, this is example. Okay, now uh, it's activated. Now I'm moving anteriorly about uh, three centimeter. I'm now moving posteriorly about three centimeter. Now I will go to the left about three centimeter. And now I will go to the right about three centimeter. The control and the time delay distance and the latency is an amazing. And we are using here 4G and in the way we have the 5G technology. Yes, so now two A's, this is one A, and this is another A, and I like the A's in my scoring exam. So as you, yes. as you can now, see now, I'm that is a direct robot, control of the robotic control, arm the using robot. virtual reality systems. Uh, yes. We can use the Oculus, or we can use the HoloLens, or even no. uh, any uh, system. No. So and now I'm going to the uh, uh, of the satellites. Oh. Uh, so as you say, what, what I'm doing now is I'm here, what I want to do an interior act uh, to go on the world. The, uh, and it was an amazing, even the latency was about uh, take it uh, in my robotic second, arm. Which was so not this is what we are doing. And if you can see uh, that if we have a bleeder, for example, we can control this bleeder yes. with the artery forces. And, and I will we can up. do suturing and so So we are now developing okay. our... And I'm lifting the mask arm, up as, yeah, as you can see. Has and the as I told you, this is 100% controlled. And also we started to work with the space agency and to supply and to develop to something develop called the satellite robotic arm control robotic by our arm, which is called Galaxy, the, the virtual that reality has uses in and the surgery, which is called robotic surgery. So this is where and also the, in space exploration uh, mission, mission, the, the robotic satellite arm the virtual and the space and the surgery. Digital technology. What you will see now that I will apply this as a surgeon amazing three centimeters that now now I perform tasks. Okay. And I'm opening and now for my work. We will go as back. An expert surgeon in and USA, we'll go in Japan, and the Gulf region, and many countries, okay. even from the European Union. And now I have an invitation we are going to open left. my branch. Three we'll go together left. in the lecture about further okay. development and of this right. amazing work, and I will be ready to answer any questions about any questions uh, from the audience. The, the advance. So now let me go back. So after we succeeded in doing virtual reality telemetry and controlling the robotic arm 100% from distance, we developed our unique work that's sent to NASA and to the national lab, which is called the space telemedicine and the space telesurgery, which was approved four months uh, ago. And we will see together the video and even the date of the video, which was two years back. So you can see that here, it, it was live. And this was first ever explanation about the method, which the was approved later on services by NASA. And, and the Robotic Surgery together. Academy with the space telesurgery program, the virtual reality space telesurgery. The technology provides the primary health care and the primary surgical care for the International Space Station and for the astronauts in case they face any medical emergency. 
by special headsets and arm controls, the astronauts will wear in case that he face an emergency and in one click. After that, a program will be activated, connected with our technology program and uh, space telesurgery office in which the surgeon will be an emergency called to go and give the primary assistance. The program will provide that the astronauts will see the surgeon or the doctor controlled from Earth in a hologram fashion and the actual presence inside the International Space Station. He will see him in a hologram fashion and the doctor will see from there the actual emergency facing example if there is an emergency bleeding or an emergency condition so after we succeed with these technologies we started to apply the system take the history when we connected and do the physical the examination and you must do the take approval from like the national lab or which is the structure in giving the authority Associated for NASA to of surgery, uh, Dr. put Mohamed the science inside Ansar. the space station so uh, we succeeded to give them uh, in, in about the three meetings, uh, the whole technology, how we are moving the headsets inside the space station and how we are putting the robotic arm inside and controlling. And in such, we succeeded to supply a primary health care and a, a primary surgical care for the space using these advanced technologies, which we, we were proud. And it was approved later on uh, by NASA uh, exactly five months back. So let us go together and see their approval. And of course, we will go later on to see what we did more. Yeah, and here, uh, this is the approval. NASA uses Microsoft uh, HoloLens uh, cameras uh, to create live hologram of surgeons and to transfer doctors inside the space station and also regarding my work, uh, which was approved and we feel proud to give this technology to the space. So now we started to provide this technology to the International Space Station, to the Chinese Space Station, to the European Space Agency, to the UAE Space Agency, space exploration mission like Artemis 1, like what we will see together, and also uh, to the commercial space flights that you know now we can go to uh, uh, as a commercial flight in the space and enjoy. So. Uh, in such condition that uh, we'll go together and see more work about uh, what we did later. Yeah. So after that, what we did, we opened the uh, Metaverse Surgical Hospital uh, which was a hospital, and we took our license in, uh, from USA in order that we put all these technologies together, and we opened the first space uh, telemedicine and telesurgery center that we will see together uh, in uh, one minute. So here, this is the uh, hospital. Reception, uh, and we feel proud that this center Good evening everyone uh, from the uh, Metaverse Surgical Hospital uh, USA, California. We are happy to make uh, a, a quick visit uh, to the hospital and to see the progress and uh, as you can see now, now we are in the hospital uh, lobby and this is the reception uh, and we feel proud that this center will be the first hospital that contain the advanced technology of our unique technology approved by NASA. So we are in the final stages uh, to, uh, of our uh, official launch uh, with the ceremony opening and of course all the audience will be invited and it will be our pleasure to attend. 
and in this uh, hospital you will see our outpatient clinic uh, you will see our robotic surgery academy that has trained more than 200 surgeons in the middle east and in the area and also you will see our uh, virtual reality and the space telemedicine and telesurgery office that is connected with the space agencies and the satellites and the life space mission that are going in order that we tell them that we are here to support and uh, also uh, you will see our advanced operative theater and also uh, connected with the robots with the virtual realities with the satellites and till now there are more than 20 experts of surgeons with us and we are having uh, about all the specialties including the cardiac surgery the surgical oncology the gi surgery the organ transplant robotics and also we feel proud to provide the advanced technologies to earth and to space and let us go now to see our also uh, space office and as i told you the official launch will be soon uh, with the international press which, who are interested to come of this robot so, arm between dubai and london in 100 percent control by virtual reality arm controls what i will do now this is example okay now uh, it's activated now i'm moving and so this is the office uh, it is supplied with very advanced technologies on the software programs that can be connected to satellites we can trace satellites we can see inside the space now I aircraft to the missions we can follow the vital signs of the astronauts and we can see everything and we can even do surgeries directly uh, inside the spacecraft that uh, what we will see later and uh, it's, it's very advanced and we feel proud that it's a unique one and this is what we are offering uh, for the humanity uh, and uh, let us see uh, what we did in the last uh, artemis one mission which we were proud about uh, which is the exploration uh, of the moon. Yes. So as you, as you can see, uh, we have here uh, two structures. Here is the uh, Artemis one going to the moon. Uh, the, the journey now is 22 days. And now here, what you will see is the inside uh, that they put a dummy uh, wear by the astronauts uh, suit and the space suit and in order to monitor the science. So what we did, we started to uh, connect all this uh, through our space telemedicine and telesurgery office and started to monitor the science of this dummy example that simulating a human the aim of this dummy that the space mission controllers wanted to see that is is safe to send the humans there so this is called an unmanned mission or robotic mission but uh, the experience that we gain uh, will lead us to put a real human and to monitor them so what we are doing now example we are supplying inside the spacecraft our virtual reality cameras our connective system our iCloud and our uh, robotic arms in order to give, to give a full gain control of the primary healthcare and surgical care inside this space trip that is heading to Mars. And in this, I will uh, feel proud to end this lecture and I will be ready to take any uh, questions uh, from the audience. Thank you very much, Dr. Mohanad Al Ansari. Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Hanat Al Ansari. I am so uh, so impressed by the kind of work uh, that you're doing uh, in the metaverse space. I'm sure a lot of us who have heard your lecture today, uh, this is so new to us and so informative, and uh, there's just so much knowledge. Uh, you're doing so much. Uh, imagining, I mean, imagine a doctor doing so much in the technology space. That is something great, I feel, because uh, it is very difficult for, uh, uh, you know, doctors or people from the life sciences industry to adapt to technology this amazingly. And uh, I really thank you for all the efforts. And we are also very proud of the work that you are doing. And I will... Definitely, definitely uh, request all the attendees to follow your YouTube channel. I think you have some amazing information over there where we can learn how well uh, the metaverse is helping, uh, you know, uh, doctors uh, to help 
uh, astronauts and people going to space. I think it is amazing. Thank you so much uh, for this amazing lecture and thank you for the time. I, I just cannot thank you enough. I think uh, uh, this has been the most amazing uh, 20 minutes uh, for me today. Uh, so uh, we, uh, audience, you can please ask any questions that you have uh, for uh, Dr. Uh, uh, for sir and also uh, I have one question sir uh, so yeah. when you're using the uh, metaverse platform is this a platform that uh, uh, has been developed by you and your technology team or is this a platform that you have hired or is it customized for you uh, so how are you able to use the metaverse space yes uh, as I told you uh, at the first there are many companies supplying a metaverse structure like central land like the spatials and so so these are like the website, like the WWNet. So when you enter, if you remember when in the uh, Internet uh, 2 web uh, re, uh, journey, until now it is, but now it will end. And now we are in, in the journey of the three, of the Web3. Okay. So in the Web3, you need to contact one of these companies in order to take a position for your work. Okay. In order to... Uh, put your work on. So th th this is what we done. So we contacted them and we took a spaces from them. And we started to put our work. And even now the hospital is there. Uh, so it is like the Web2, www. but it is called the Web3. And it is the new revolution. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is a new revolution. So we have another very uh, important question for you. Uh, so one of the attendees wants to know uh, what about the data security and privacy of health data, which is generated in the metaverse? Of course, you know, in order to succeed in the metaverse, you can see that now even the Interpol has entered. And even many governments, the first government to enter, I feel proud that the UAE government where I live and I'm a resident there, and uh, I, I put more, most of my work. So uh, the, the government started to enter. So this means that the rules will come. So example for me, any surgeon who want to perform surgery or doctor, who want to practice in my hospitals, okay, he must have a license in the country that he is working. So example in US, U.S. license, in Japan, Japan license, and so in the European Union, Germany, let's say, Germany license. So this means that we are obeying the rules and even including the security data and the security of the patient. And such we will succeed because we don't want to give a science and a service without a protection or a, an illegal service. So this is why when we put our legal work, we will succeed more. Yes. Absolutely. And I'm sure since you're working with organizations such as the NASA, it is obviously uh, understood that data security and privacy is taken care of, even in the metaverse space. So, sir, another question that we have is, uh, what are the challenges uh, that you have faced uh, during uh, the robotic surgery that you have performed uh, in the metaverse space? Yeah, actually, of course, uh, the most challenge that we are worried about is the connection, the connectivity. You know, in many countries, <clears throat> sometimes you can be disconnected. So what we did, we opened a, a, a secondary line of connections with other networks. So we were using two networks. And also, we were putting a surgeon in the operative field, a professional surgeon, in order that if I lose control of the robotic arm, OK, he can manage. So as I told you, this is a safety manner. So in safety, like in the safety craft, you can see two pilots. One is uh, controlling the pilot, and the other is the co-pilot. So in surgery, it's uh, very important. Why? Because there is no place and time for error. So this is how we are doing. And uh, we feel pr proud to succeed in an amazing way. And uh, believe me, I was very happy that before about uh, two months, uh, one famous surgery of conjoined twins used these technologies in order to separate uh, a conjoined twin in Brazil. The, this surgery was failed about six times and they used the virtual reality technologies that we implemented, the technologies uh, in order to succeed in the surgery. And they gathered a lot of exper experts and they succeeded. And even in the press, they said that they feel proud to use the virtual reality technologies and the space technologies. So this is how uh, we are changing now the history of the re and revolution of the surgical practice. Yes. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, so I think that's all we have questions. In case you get more questions, sir, I will email them to you. Uh, thank you so much again uh, for giving the time today. I know, uh, you know, uh, your surgeon's time is so important and we're very grateful to you. It was a great learning. Uh, we will get on to your YouTube channel, learn more. And I wish you all the good luck for all the future endeavors you have.
Thank you so much, yes. sir. And my regards for the all uh, the audience and the uh, Council of the Global Health Summit. And this is how uh, we are here to change experience and to put all our science together for the humanity and for this new revolution. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you. You too, sir. Thank you so much.